So we're here with uh, Morphotonics here yes. at the Display Week. That's right. 2023. Yeah, Hi. we are finally here. That's right. Uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, we are at Morphotonics. We are a Dutch company based in the southern part of the Netherlands, uh, right down the street from ASML. Uh, we are a company that started in 2014. Uh, we make large area nano imprinting equipment. So what does that mean is that we can replicate very precise nano and micron scale structures on very large areas. And what does that mean is that if you want more sophisticated displays that can manage light, manipulate light in ways that are not known before or not been done before, uh, we can help. Basically, uh, we can produce these things in very large areas. That way you can get uh, much better cost and uh, apply this in all kinds of displays. What do you mean? Any optics, any display, any size? Yeah. Um, so, so, are so, you compatible with the whole industry? Well, we hope, we hope to be. We hope to be. Uh, so, by any optics, we mean any optical structure that range from 500 micron down to 50 nanometers. We can replicate it. Okay. By any display, we mean no matter the underlying display technology, whether that's LCD, OLEDs, uh, or micro LED, or, or it's a smartwatch, or a tablet, or a 65 inch TV, doesn't matter. We can apply our nano imprinting technology to it. And by any size, we mean any size up to what's known in the display world as Gen 5, which is 1.1 meters to 1.3 meters. We can replicate these very precise structures on such large areas. So that's what we mean by any size. Uh, why, why do people need these kind of uh, uh, beautiful shapes on their displays? Yeah. What is it, wh where does it go on the where display? Where does it go? Where does it go? So uh, there are three areas that we are focused on. One is anti-glare textures for displays so that you can reduce or you can have sunlight readability, ambient light readability, when you're at the beach, when you're outdoors, and you're trying to look at your watch or your phone or your tablet, it really helps to have these kind of anti-glare structures on your devices. And we already have them on many, many uh, consumer electronic devices, but we hope that there's more and more sophisticated ones. That's one. Two, 3D displays. You know, glasses-free 3D displays. I'm not talking auto stereo, one eye, two eye. Uh, we are talking more like light field displays with... The future, the holographic displays. The holographic okay. displays. For holographic displays to work, you need very sophisticated, higher ends, uh, you know, uh, optical capabilities. And this can only work if you go beyond wafer scale and if you do display level, large area optical manufacturing. And that's where we come in. So Thirdly, it's, it's like a lens. It is, it's it reflecting is, yeah. the the light. Well, we don't many we don't design the lens. Okay, we are an equipment maker, so the lenses, the optics are designed by our customers, and those customers then give us a master uh, from which we can then create essentially imprints, uh, replicate structures from. Uh, and the, I was going to say the third one is augmented reality, although we think it might be a little bit further down the road. Uh, in order to make augmented reality uh, glasses, uh, as you can see right here, these are waveguides. These are just pretty standard, uh, we call them one-dimensional pupil expansion, pretty straightforward waveguides that we are just showing uh, as for demo purposes. Uh, essentially, this would be, uh, this would, one of these things would go into one eye. And if augmented reality glasses were to take off and you were to have tens of millions of augmented reality glasses worldwide, you need to manufacture the optics for them uh, beyond wafer scale, okay? So in the wafer scale, you can only put 24 of these things on a 300 millimeter wafer, which is the largest size wafer you can get. We are able to put 480 or 270 eyepieces on a on our largest size, you know, substrate, basically. Can you make them as fast as those guys make the wafers? Well, uh, if there's need for it, yes, we can go down to 90 seconds. For 480 micro displays? We have one imprint can take 90 seconds to do, yes. You can make 480 
waveguides, again, you know, texture dependent, so <laughs> disclaimers aside, mm -hmm. uh, uh, theoretically, we can make 400 wave, 480 waveguides and a Gen 5 size imprint in 90 seconds, in less than two minutes. How, how do you compare with the stuff people talk about for ASML? When uh, are they kind of like helping the wafers? They they make the the stuff that goes into the wafer factories. Lithography and machines, yes, and they are, are literally the they are literally down the road from us. ASML, we can see them our, from our offices. Do you have any ASML employees? We have employees that used to work at ASML. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah Is yeah. it the similar kind of like uh, physics? Mm, not quite. I mean, ASML basically uh, makes uh, lithography machines for semiconductor uh, chip manufacturing, if we were to keep things at a high level. And what we do is we do nano-imprint. It's called nano-imprinting lithography. And uh, this is mainly for optics. We, don't, we have nothing to do with semiconductors. We don't do uh, any chips or anything like that. Our focus is around optics and photonics. Uh, we have some customers and uh, potential customers in non-display applications like even biosensors or smart windows and other types of applications. Cool. And how's it going here at the Display Week? It's a little bit slower than we liked on the first day, but uh, in the morning it was, but in the afternoon it has picked up and today is the first day. Tomorrow is usually the busier day, so I think we're going to see more people. And yeah, we are excited to be here. We are here every year, and it is uh, a good show where all the display geeks gather. So after my video is published, it's like a million people at the booth. All right, hey, we are looking for we have we have strip waffles for them. So right. you know, from the Netherlands. Oh, nice. <laughs> cool. All right. Thanks okay. Lot. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Can I send you some money? I would use Wise if I had to send you some money. I will not send you some money. I'm pretty sure I will not do that. But if I did, I would use Wise. It's really amazing. You can send money all over the world, 150 countries. You can send money to India. You can send money to the US. You can send money to Malaysia, Indonesia, Korea, everywhere. And then you get a local bank account. It's crazy. You get a bank account in the US and Europe. It's really amazing. And the fees are five to 10 times cheaper than your bank. So use it as a prepaid debit card. Buy a bunch of stuff on the internet. Save some money when you buy stuff in different currencies. Check my video where I explain a bunch of more stuff. Why this is a smart way. And use my link so I can make some money. <laughs>